Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you the breakdown of this effect. I used Niagara and the Rigid Body Simulation in Houdini, um, so let's start. Okay, so let's start with this effect. Basically it's a cast and impact in the one particle system, mainly because the effect is so quick. It, you could probably split it into cast and impact, but I just, I just decided to keep it at once, just for the simplicity. The first one is just a circle texture that scales over time and changes its color just a bit. That's the thing that drops from the sky towards that circle texture. It's just a, just a stretch texture with the erosion, so the uh, disappearance is a little bit nicer. And it's just a dots, basically sparkles that stays after the ray. Simple lens to amplify the, uh, the glow of the effect. And just a lens with, to grab player attention. And the dots that appears next to the circle texture and stays there afterwards. This one I found a little bit difficult, mainly because of the timing. Uh, so the first thing I did, I just created a uh, half sphere, which looks like this essentially, um, with uh, with the zero to one textures. So basically, I can take a noise and mask textures and scroll them over time downwards. So that creates this effect. If, if you control your mask with the dynamic parameters so you know getting the timing right was a bit painful but I think it looks okay yeah it's just a cylinder with a couple noise textures and the, and the mask as well probably the same technique I used for the sphere That's the smoke that stays there after the effect for a couple seconds. And the sparks as well. And the last part of this effect is the ground break, which looks like this. And it's basically a rigid body simulation I've done in Houdini. Um, and I match the scale later on in Unreal Engine to match the radius of, radius of the sphere that I showed you uh, before. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the breakdown and hopefully it's gonna help you to understand a little bit better how I made those um, effects and uh, maybe there is something that you've never seen before and uh, I just hope it's is gonna give you an idea how to implement it in your own VFX.